Kelly Jean. It is about 6.40 in the morning right now and I'm getting my day going. So I already brushed my teeth, um, prayed, and then I ran upstairs to go wake all of the kids up. The only ones still asleep are Roro and Houston and I'm in the kitchen getting their lunch ready. Let me show you. So you've got some grilled cheese with ham in it, it looks good. Then I put little bites, these little muffins in here. It comes in a pack of four, but only three fit. So I'm gonna put the grilled cheese in here and then I'm gonna cut up some strawberries and put them in here. Kids are looking for their shoes. We made s'mores on Sunday outside, so they were outside. But yeah, I'm getting the lunch ready. I figured I'd come on here early in the morning like as soon as I got my day started um, and show y'all a little bit of our morning routine. Right now I'm just cutting the crust off of this grilled cheese because Houston is so picky, he does not like crust. But Kingston has to be in school in about 20 minutes, so I have to go drop him off and then come back and get everybody else. I like to have everybody ready before I leave um, or at least somewhat ready. So, I woke up a little late today. I usually wake up at 6. Today I woke up at 6.30. I was so exhausted, guys. But that's what my morning's going like today. And, you know, it's okay. So, I'll update y'all once I wake the boys up and, you know, I get my day rolling out of this house. Roro woke up. You heard me in the kitchen. I have their lunches ready to go. I'm gonna add a putting in their lunch today, but this looks so yummy, bro. Very delicious. Leah looks like she's ready. Gigi is hungry. She's in here whipping up a grilled cheese for her. And I gotta go, I gotta go get dressed real quick and then I have to go take Kingston to school. Okay. Walking out, getting in the car, gonna go drive Kingston off. Then I have to come back, guys. I was saying that this is my morning routine because they still haven't got their bus. So I have to go drop Kingston off, then I have to come back. Usually Lucky's up, but we were exhausted from yesterday. Um, so usually he takes Kingston real quick to school because Kingston goes to school the earliest. And then by the time he gets back, I hop in the car. And I go drop off the girls, which they all go to different schools. And then I head to Houston and Roro school um, and drop them off. And then I go to the gym. One down, got a whole bunch of other kids to go. What's up, what's up, what's in? Having lunch, taking a small lunch break. Shout out to Kelly Jean. We're whipping up some salmon and some jambalaya rice. Yummy. Hey man, okay. hit the spot. I didn't have breakfast this morning, I just had some toast. I've been on Zoom calls all day, guys. Well, it's only 11 a.m. <laughs> all morning? All morning, since about eight in the morning. I've been handling business. I gotta drive into town. I gotta drive to Houston, go meet up with Gold Toes at his office, cause it's that time of the month. I gotta get my chippers. Hey man, I got some advice for some young rappers out there. Y'all are in a great time, a great space to be in right now because it's so easy to make money with music. Back in the day, we had to package CDs, mail CDs, drive in the car to different stores. Man, it was a lot of hard work we had to do back in the day. And now, y'all just gotta upload the music and y'all go to the studio the next day, y'all can send it worldwide around all digital platforms or get on YouTube and put a video out. So y'all are blessed and a great time to be in the music business to make money. But the advice I wanna give y'all is two things. One, y'all know the rap game is like the streets and it's dangerous in the streets. So being a rapper is dangerous. Get you some life insurance, man. You need to get you some life insurance. If you're a rapper, you need some life insurance, man. Don't be the guy that passes away and now that's just the 
if, for a rapper, that'd be an embarrassing way to go out. Like, you know what I'm saying? You die and then your family's trying to figure out a way to bury you. You want to have some life insurance. Get you some life insurance. Take you $100, $150. Get you a million dollar policy. And if something happens to you, you know your family's straight. That's the first thing. The second thing I want to tell you, I'm serious. Not all y'all are going to live to see my age. Not all y'all are going to live to have these grays on y'all chin. You know what I'm saying? When people tell me that I'm getting older, I'm old, that's a blessing to be this old. You know what I'm saying? Like, I made it, baby. You know what I'm saying? Check me out. But anyway, what you want to do, the second piece of advice I want to tell you is invest your money. Invest your money. Take same thing. Take you. 500 bucks a month and you know you probably spend that on shoes you're going out a bottle in the club take you 500 dollars, put it in some kind of investment account an investment vehicle every month that's going to grow tax-free like a roth ira now don't go to your bank and say i want to open a roth ira because the bank's going to give you like one percent on your money you invest in mutual funds we work with all different investment companies fidelity uh invesco franklin templeton lincoln financial we can help you with any investment company that you feel comfortable with and we can show you how to invest in mutual funds where your money can grow with a high rate of return not just get it one percent like at the bank you know what i'm saying so that way if you do reach 50 60 years old you got money tax-free money and you don't have to be 60 years old at these car shows doing concerts that's not what you want it's not a good look so invest your money buy some life insurance and invest some money every month so your future self will be thanking you for it you know what I'm saying? No, that's all I got to say. The lunch was good, baby girl. Thank you. So anyways, guys, I didn't get to finish recording when I was dropping off Aaliyah. Gigi's actually sitting right in front of me. Um, she didn't go to school. She wasn't feeling good. But after I dropped off Leah, I dropped the boys off. Then I headed to the gym. And that was my morning, guys. Y'all saw my part. Lucky literally was working, putting in work and hey, 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 let me tell you sharing one knowledge one more thing one more thing i'm gonna tell you hey 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 this month the month of december to the end of the month primerica is doing 49 dollars to get your life insurance license so if you want to learn more about what we do and you want to come on board and get your license to help people with their finances help people with their insurance you can get licensed this month it's only 49 dollars so call 214-609-4711 or text Luciano TV to 214-609-4711. If you want to join the team, it's $49. Get your life insurance license, your investment license. Let's go. All right, guys. So Gigi and I decided to come for a walk in our neighborhood. First time actually doing this. We're the first ones to break the neighborhood in. So we're walking to the lake. There's this lake house in our neighborhood and there's like this huge lake. And so we're heading that way right now and we'll show y'all what it looks like because I saw it yesterday and it was just beautiful. So we'll pull y'all out once we get there. Okay guys, quick update. We didn't even make it to the lake. We were like right there and then it started raining. And then tell me why we made we turned around. So Gigi's a little wet. A little. It's, it's just, not just not a bit. that way. It I wasn't my face. It wasn't raining that hard. It was just calm rain. I don't know. You know what I'm talking about, right? Anyways, um, yeah, we turned around and now it's like no rain. So I'm like, ah, but that's what happened. It was pretty fun while it lasted though. Gigi and I raced and I won. Ah! Because I stopped running because you were like 15 feet behind me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but I said to the street. I thought I did run to the street. I thought you meant that street. Ah, okay, no. let's race home then, come on. Yeah. You smoked me. Basically. <laughs> Uh, Alright guys, so <clears throat> we just got back. We're gonna make cookies because it's pretty, it's pretty well deserved. <laughs> um. <laughs> hey man, shout out to brother Alex Soto out in Victoria, Texas. Just got approved for nine hundred and fifty thousand dollars life insurance and then joined the team. Tell him what's up, Alex. Drop, drop him some. Drop, drop him a little word of encouragement, right? Hey, what's up, man? Y'all get some, uh, y'all get some insurance. Feels a little tricky in the beginning, but once they break it down to you, it, it makes a lot of sense. And don't it's, it's true. We take an educational approach to, with it, right? We try to teach you what we're doing yeah. instead of just we're not just trying to sell you something. We're trying to educate you. Really. That's pretty good, man. I appreciate it. Lucy gang, baby. Don't nobody hate this show. Yes, everybody hates this show. Who hates this show? Me. You. You're the only one who hates this show. And well, and you. And 
Gigi and Cece are hooked on sister sister. I've already finished it. I'm talking. I finished it three times. What do you mean? I think that means you're hooked. Guys. Ew. Guys. What about you, Houston? Everybody hates to show in the whole entire room. Houston. What are you doing up there, boy? He's trying to slide down the stairs in that basket. Okay, I'll help you. No, don't do that. He's going to hurt himself. <coughs> you ready for Christmas? Yes, stupid brother. What do you want for Christmas? Sunday's Christmas. I don't for want Christmas. Sunday is not Christmas. I know what I want. Sunday ain't Christmas. Monday? You're slow. I know what I want, Dad. Sunday. I want a jail gun. A jail gun? No, I just want it. Like that's no. what She's gonna shoot it with us? No, yeah, shoot. Exactly. You mean shoot it at us? Shoot it at us. Whatever Keys goes, BB got here to practice on it. <laughs> no, I would never do that. I'm a I'm a good sister. Wait, that's no. right, that's right. I'm, I'm like, Boy! Roro! No, no! See what I gotta deal with, man? These little psychopath kids. Nerf guns and bullets, or I can shoot the girls in my nerf guns. Okay. Well, we'll see about that. If you're a good boy, start by putting all your toys back in that bucket he just threw downstairs. Go on, boy, hurry up. I'm about to eat some beef stew. Mm. Whipped up some. Oh, man, hold on. Napkin is stuck to the spoon. Come on, man. I got some, oh, look at that. Potatoes, carrots, celery, and beef stew, and some corn in that bad boy. Yeah, man, gotta heat it up. I ate a bowl already earlier, and it was good. What? You know what I told you what I want for Christmas? What do you want for Christmas? I want one more thing. What do you want? And you can get me anything that you want to give me. Oh, what's that? I don't know. You said what you want one more thing. What one more thing? So you're not telling me what you want. Whatever you want to give her is what she wants. Yeah. She said she wants oh. V-Bucks so and whatever you want. Uh, I'm going to give you some V-Bucks. How about some V-Bucks? You want V-Bucks? Yeah. 50 V-Bucks. <laughs> you can't do that. What you laughing at? I can't do what? You can't she give us. The lowest is a thousand. <laughs> you going to get 50. You need 50 V-Bucks. Call it a day. No. It's only one, like... Y'all should be thinking about who we're going to go bless. You know, Christmas is a time of giving. So y'all should be thinking about giving somebody. Y'all should find a... Can we do a, Secret Santa? What? Can we do Secret Santa? Secret Santa? <laughs> yeah. How about y'all find a loyal subscriber on Luciano TV and blessing some of their kids with some V-Bucks? Yeah, that's the funniest thing I've heard all day. What? <laughs> Your viewers. I want panda dunks. Panda dunks. Panda dunks. Yeah, 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 yeah. I want some beef stew, man. And I want a gel gun. It shoots out gel balls. Kelly Jean's on the phone over there. She need to come rescue me from all these children. I feel like I'm being bombarded by children. Oh. But I'm just trying to I eat my beef no, stew. No, you let me ask us when we go for Christmas. Everybody be quiet. Y'all talking at one time. Y'all making my anxiety run through the roof. Anyway, I hope y'all enjoyed this vlog. I'm about to eat my beef stew in peace. Well, I'm going to try to eat it in peace. And we'll catch up with y'all tomorrow, man. You watching Luciano TV. Shout out to everybody uh, out there in America and everybody around the world. Sending y'all blessings and positive vibes. Ain't nothing but love, baby. Stay tuned. If you tired of somebody telling you when you can get off work, when you can take a vacation, if you can get a raise or not, they don't appreciate the work and the value that you bring in, man, be your own boss. Let me show you how to fire your boss and be your own boss. You know what I'm saying? For $49 today for the rest of this month, $49 you can get your license and insurance and help people with their life insurance and investment. Yes, it's true that you can uh, go to the bank and open up a Roth IRA at your bank, but 
you're only gonna get a very small percentage when there's other accounts out there that can give you a high interest rate. And that's what we do for families. We help them with their retirement accounts, their investment accounts, their kids' college trust fund accounts, insurance, life insurance. Don't depend on your job's life insurance. That's group life insurance and they don't give you enough coverage to sustain your family for the years to come if you were to pass away today. So let me help you and educate you on life insurance and investments. And if you wanna come on board and make some extra money in the process of helping people, hit me up today.